Hi everyone, the next stage of this painting is to introduce a sense of light, particularly falling on the foreground sheep and the foreground lamb. So on my brush today I have some titanium white acrylic with just a little dash of cadmium yellow. So let's start introducing this and see what kind of effects we get. So when you're looking at a subject that you want to paint, whether it's a person, an animal, a tree, a hill, whatever it is, a really good technique is to just squint at that subject. And in doing that, it's a really good way of detaching yourself from what the thing actually is and just seeing it as a pattern of light and dark shapes. And that's what I'm doing right now as I look at my sheep and decide which bits to depict, which little shapes, which little bursts of light to selectively paint to create the illusion that light is falling on a three-dimensional object. And while I do this, I'm also keeping in mind the direction in which the wool falls on, on the animal's body. I'm also controlling how firmly I push the brush onto the page to get more or less paint deposited. And now that my brush is starting to run out of paint. I'm using that to my advantage and just kind of scumbling the brush across the surface of the page to get a different effect, more of a soft focus effect on this lamb. Uh, let's get some more paint. Now, generally speaking, you want to limit the amount of pure white that you uh, include in your painting. But I've chosen just to highlight the edges of the lamb's ears and the top of the head there with pure white. Um, because it's those parts of the animal that are catching the light particularly strongly. Now, I've just added a touch of Silurian Blue to my brush. Uh, the light along the back of the animal here has a touch of blue in it. And let's see if there's anywhere else we can use that colour. I think perhaps on the sheep's face here. Maybe even in, on the wall as well. Okay, that's that stage finished. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please feel free to ask me any questions you may have in the comments below. Thanks for watching.